After finding this mysterious object in his pig's gut, a Chinese villager's life changed forever. Pig farming isn't exactly a glamorous occupation. Like many agricultural jobs, it's hard work offering relatively little reward, so nobody would expect a small-scale country farmer to ever achieve riches. Yet that's exactly what happened to one villager in China who unexpectedly landed himself a fortune while just going about his daily business. China may have a rapidly growing economy, but rural life in the country is still far from easy. In fact, many villagers still live beneath the poverty line and struggle for basic necessities. Furthermore, education in some areas is woefully underfunded. Indeed, it's estimated that in places, less than half the population attend high school. The income gap between urban and rural dwellers in China is vast. In 2016, the average disposable income for a city family was about $5,200 a year, but in rural areas, it was just $1,900. In fact, most farmers grow just enough for their own household's needs. Within villages, families often lead basic lives in wooden houses, although many now enjoy modern conveniences like televisions. It's not surprising then that large number of young Chinese people are abandoning country life for the cities. Once they find work, many then divert a part of their wages to their older relatives back in the village. Agriculture is still a way of life in these rural areas where farmers grow crops or raise livestock. For those farmers involved in rearing animals, pigs are a popular choice. There are thought to be around 40 million pig farms in China, with the majority being run on a small-scale basis. It's a tough life though, and with increased regulation and reduced subsidies, many farmers are now giving it up. One man who has stuck it out is 51-year-old Bo Chun Lu. He's a pig farmer in Zhu County in China's Shandong province. In August 2017, Chun Lu was slaughtering an 8-year-old sow when he made a life-changing discovery. In the gallbladder of the 550-pound pig, he came across what looked like a bundle of fur, but actually it was something else. In fact, what Chun Lu discovered was a 4-inch by 2.7-inch object known as a bezoar. Bezoars can form in the digestive system of both humans and animals. The objects are made up of both partially digested and undigested material such as plant matter and hair. Chun Lu probably didn't expect the fibrous lump to make him rich but he did think it was unusual enough to show the neighbors. The villagers subsequently informed her that the bezoar would have great value to practitioners of Chinese medicine. Chun Lu was at first skeptical that his hairy block would be so desirable to anyone, but eventually he was convinced. So he and his 26-year-old son, Bo ming -Zhe, traveled more than 350 miles to Shanghai to have it valued. By then, they were confident enough in the bezoar's worth to shell out some $6,000 to have it officially appraised. It turned out that the pig's bezoar was worth well more than the investment of their time and money, and then some. Incredibly, the bows were told that their palm-sized treasure was worth at least $605,000. Not bad for something pulled out of a sow's gallbladder. But then, Chinese medicine can be very lucrative when it comes to highly priced ingredients. Traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, has been practiced in China for hundreds of years and still remains popular today. Indeed, Chairman Mao himself gave the custom his approval, despite his own skepticism towards it. Moreover, much like pharmacies in the West, TCM shops can readily be found in towns and cities all over China. The stores stock a wide variety of herbal and animal-based remedies. In fact, TCM is such a big business in China that it's currently valued at more than 120 billion dollars. Indeed, it's responsible for a third of the country's pharmaceutical output. The deputy chief of the National Health and Family Planning Commission, Wang Xiaokang, says this is a result of the government's support of the industry as well as its increased global popularity. I've been to some countries and many state leaders mentioning they wish to import TCM to their own country, Wang said at a conference in 2016. Their awareness and recognition of TCM is continuously rising. However, traditional Chinese medicine is not without controversy. Moreover, if there's one thing most people know about TCM, it's the varied and sometimes bizarre nature of its ingredients. Animal testicles, horns, hornet's nests, and crocodile jaws are just some of the components used in its practice. Even human byproducts like feces, dandruff, and earwax are occasionally prescribed in traditional medicine. Fortunately, though, they're rarely used today. The biggest controversy surrounding TCM, though, is its use of endangered animal parts. The demand for these ingredients is such that the only illegal trades that do more business are those involving drugs and weapons. 
Sadly, the market for products from at-risk species is worth a colossal $20 billion a year, which is terrible news for rare wildlife. Another aspect of TCM that's often criticized is the use of cruel methods, such as bare bile farms, to extract the desired ingredients. As for bezoars, well, their medicinal use was once not only limited to TCM. In the past, it was widely believed that the stones would act as an effective remedy against poison. Anyone suspicious of their drink then only had to drop a bezoar into the glass to render its contents harmless, if a bit yucky. In fact, bezoars were once so valued that they were found among the treasures of a sunken galleon, the Nuestra Señora de Atocha. But are they effective at neutralizing poison? Surprisingly, a modern study has shown that they can be. Researchers found that when bezoars are put into an arsenic spiked liquid, the toxins are removed through a chemical reaction. In traditional Chinese medicine, bezoar stones are normally taken from cows or oxen. Rather than being used as an antidote to poison, though, they're thought to banish evil things from the body. The material is used to treat various illnesses from sore throats to childhood convulsions. Once the bezoar stone is obtained, TCM practitioners dry it and grind it into a powder. Said to contain various minerals and vitamins, the taste is described as being bittersweet and refreshing. And as with conventional medicines, there are side effects, among them diarrhea and, ironically, poisoning. Meanwhile, whether taking bezoar powder offers any real benefits is unclear. Some TCMs have been shown to be effective for certain ailments, but overall, there's little evidence in its favor. In fact, there are concerns that China's TCM push might actually have a damaging effect on the public by promoting traditional over proven modern medicine. However, as far as Bo Chun Lu is concerned, if he wasn't a fan of traditional Chinese medicine before, he certainly will be now. Armed with his expert certification, he said he'll consider bids in excess of $150,000 for his chunk of hairy treasure. So his chance discovery of the pig's bezoar will likely mean that he can give up pig farming for good if he wants to. And he may well see out the rest of his days in relative luxury. Please share this video with your friends below.